We are, I'm very fortunate to be here, the president of Alameda County, and I want to thank uh, you, Supervisor Chan. I mean, I think it's really extraordinary that we seem to have something called human impact budget hearing um, to actually hear from folks who are impacted. Uh, we represent the Alameda Health Consortium, the eight federally qualified health centers. Um, so many in the audience should be familiar with Asian Health Services, Access Community Health, uh, Lifelong Medical Care, La Clinica, Native American Health Center, Diversity of Essex Health Center, Tri-City Health Center, and West Oakland Health Council. Um, these are our federally qualified health centers that are our members that serve over 170,000 people in Alameda County, about 50,000 children, and 120,000 adults, mostly people on Medi-Cal and uninsured. What I'm here to highlight is um, uh, Alex really highlighted a lot of the issues that we care about. We were uh, been all working together trying to advocate for all of these same issues we were in. Uh, Sacramento last week. Uh, some of us were actually in Washington, D.C. to uh, advocate on for federal funding. Um, what I wanted to, for the same issues, enrollment, student money, enrollment, eligibility, making the Affordable Care Act happen, uh, preserving here on the local level the county realignment funds for health act. Uh, what I wanted to highlight tonight is really um, the impact of the adult dental uh, benefit cut from a few years ago, we still hear this uh, a lot from our health centers. Uh, our dental directors, um, they're all very passionate about this, and that's because they, on a daily basis, have to deal with literally what is seen in suffering. I mean, I think anybody here who has had a dental issue knows how painful it can be. Um, and if I could dispel any uh, myth around, you know, dental services that we would like to offer at our health centers for low-income people, if there's any uh, uh, idea that this could be, that we could be referring to cosmetic services. I just want to quote um, from one of the dental staff at Tri-City Health Center. She says, most of the patients who are referred to the dental clinic have no access to oral health services for years, for years. They present with acute infections and other treatment needs. Most of the treatments that we render are under the category of medical necessity. Denying them oral health services will increase their fragile physical health and would have deleterious effects to their overall health. We have a patient who submitted a story, which I want to submit to the supervisor after I read this. Um, the patient says, to whom it may concern, when I began at Tri-City Health Center, my teeth hurt so bad that I had three or four teeth that were breaking and causing me great pain. Eating was a source of frustration due to the pain. I was referred to the dentist he pulled three teeth and gave me a crown on one. It was life-changing to live without constant pain. I can eat without the food getting stuck to the broken pieces of my teeth. It now has been a year since I have seen a dentist and I'm supposed to have a yearly checkup and cleaning. To not be able to see regular dental health could be detrimental to my oral health. I would greatly appreciate continued dental services. Please feel free to contact me with more questions, warmest regards. So we are fortunate that we have limited dollars uh, for patients with HIV through the Ryan White program. And like I said, they're limited. Uh, we get appeals, like the appeal I just read from our uh, dental staff uh, about the urgency of the dental services there. But like I said, we have limited dollars. So what more for people who don't have any access whose dental was cut off uh, when the dental benefit was, was eliminated from Medi-Cal? Um, we have a dental patient from Lifelong who contracted HIV uh, from her husband. Her husband, as a result, um, later divorced her. She was an uninsured uh, because she was dependent on him for her health insurance. Um, after she got connected with Lifelong Dental, she said her whole life changed. La Clinica, one of the patients says, I have confidence again because I can smile. So these are the kinds of stories that our clinics are dealing with and the struggle that we have on a daily basis. I'm trying to figure out who should have care and who, who we won't be able to serve. Um, so like I said, we are working uh, to do advocacy. We were in Sacramento. We really support um, State Senate Pro Tem Daryl Steinberg's uh, interest in pursuing the restoration of adult dental services in Medi-Cal. And you know, we really welcome anyone else here to support and the county support um, as we pursue this because we feel like it's just really a contradiction to um, have such a historic opportunity with the extension of healthcare reform and not to, not to be able to be able to deal with basic uh, basic needs dental services here on a local level. So thank you.